They scored that goal that was ruled offside and, and correctly so. But I think Chelsea just have to make sure when they do have the ball, they're going to have minimal amount of possession. We know that's what happens against any team that plays against Barcelona. Rolfer again. Looking to get the cross in. Graham Hampson's there. And it won't count. Handball. But early signs of encouragement for Barcelona, who did have the ball in the back of the net. The referee spotted it very quickly. It was a fantastic ball in from Rolfer. Absolutely brilliant. But I can't understand why Magdalena Eriksson is allowing that ball to almost bounce in the six. Well, it does bounce in the six yard box, but she's trying to see it out. I'm not quite sure if she got the call from Neil Charles. It is handball from Caroline Graham Hansen, but I cannot understand. The bridge already showing just how much of a threat she can be. And the space opening up again for Barcelona, and Graham Hansen chases this down. Oshawala arrives in the penalty area. Graham Hansen again, looking for Caldente. Back to Graham Hansen, who looked to take it by surprise. Falls to Oshawala, who lifts it over. She cuts in, you know, Magdalena Eriksson again, trying not to give away a penalty, he kind of puts her arms behind her back, but you cannot allow her to come inside. Had a great one too with Mariano Caldente, and I'd expect Oshawala to hit the target there. But again, signs, you know, it's good to see the Chelsea players, you know, trying to prevent by goal to nil on aggregate after scoring that opening goal in London four minutes in Bomati Rolfer still on the way and Chelsea will try and hold on to this Possession now. Brighton. Just run out of space there, but the two players who collided with each other. It will be Guru Wrighton, who was shown the yellow card. I think that's quite harsh. I think both players are going for the ball. They're so, so good. They strengthen, you know, even when they've had injuries. Alexia Pates is one of the best players in the world. Not one of the best players she is. And they've done okay without her. Torrejon, across to Graham Hansen. Still Graham Hansen, plays it into Bomati. Left, and that's a big chance for Barcelona, not taken by Mariona Caldente. Fantastic play again from Graham Hansen. It's unfortunate because Neve Charles slipped there, and that, those things can happen, but a nice little leave. And you'd expect her to hit the target from there with the quality that Mariona Caldente has. But look at the awareness from Bomati to be able to see. It wasn't even a dummy, it was a nice little, you know, Almost drop of the shoulder. That will be that for the opening 45 minutes here in the second leg of the Women's Champions League. It's Barcelona who lead on aggregate after scoring that early goal on Saturday. Chelsea, though, they know they have to go for it now in this second 45 minutes. They have to score, they know that for sure. And I've seen them with some late, late drama already especially thinking back to that game where they knocked out the eight-time record holders, Leon in the quarterfinals. Marin Bielder becoming a hero for Chelsea, scoring that penalty in injury time to send them through to a shootout. And they can take confidence from that as well. I'm sure that's something that Emma Haynes is trying to do to get the players up for these types of games, not that they need to be G'd up, but, you know, those types of games, they've beaten one of the best teams in the world. Here's Rolfert, takes the strike from distance. And Anka Trimberger just watched it go wide. ...to a fullback in the last couple of seasons, but they gave her too much space here. I think Jess Carter's got to be looking to delay, but also, you know, press roll for it. It wasn't that far away in the end. It looked like Anka Trimberger potentially looked like she had it covered. But they do have two games in hand as well. There are a couple of the uh, Chelsea substitutes warming up. Lauren James, one of them, and Penilla Harder, who we saw coming back from her injury in the game at the weekend as a substitute. Now right and forward, looking to get the pass on to Sam Kerr. It was blocked on its way through. Caldente. 
Ricardo Cross looking for Graham Hansen. Barcelona starting to come forward in their numbers. Graham Hansen keeps going, but she's being blocked by the Chelsea defenders, not letting her through. Graham Hansen again. And lifts their shot over. And the chance has gone missing again for Barcelona. And now Barcelona on the other end. Bonmati going at it, looking for Graham Hansen! And Barcelona have the breakthrough! And it's Caroline Graham Hansen again! 1-0 up on the night, 2-0 up in the tie. Situation, you knew exactly what she was going to do. Look at that touch. What a fantastic touch that is for Mariana Caldante to Bon Mati. Something so simple, but one touch, you know. And here, it's a great finish. Great finish. You can see Jess Carter also on the line, looking like she was potentially going to get a touch on it, but in the end, you know, I feel, I feel for the Chelsea defenders because they're having to defend a lot in these two games, but it's a great finish in the end through Anka Treenberger's legs and 2-0. Both the goals and both the legs coming from Caroline Graham Hansen. Caldente charging forward now for Barcelona. Cuthbert got the ball. And the referee says play on. Ball lands to the feet of Sam Kerr. Tries to take it away from Panyos and Guru Wrighton has got one back for Chelsea. But the celebrations are cut short. Can change this game. I think, you know, they're going to want a free kick there. I don't think it's a foul. I really don't. I think Erin Cuthbert gets the ball. You can see it's a fantastic tackle. And in the end, you know, Sam Kerr goes to goal. It's a decent ball. Nice little ball in from Jess Carter. Sam Kerr ends up going to goal. Expect a good ball from Leopold's over the top. Nice little pass. Heavy first touch from Samco, which allows, you know, Panos to get out to it, but a good finish in the end from Gura Wrighton, and game on. Well, it's a goal that Chelsea so desperately needed. It's Perisic. Cuthbert turns. Cuthbert takes the strike as well, and it's directly into the hands of Panos. That's a nice play to get away from, get away from Patry. Really good play. And I can see why Aaron Cuthbert had a, had a goal there. It's not a bad in a harder the other way. But I think this Barcelona team, they certainly look nervous, you know, I don't think they expected this game to be as difficult as it has been, and Chelsea can hold their heads high. Well, yeah, there you go. You can see it there, but good thing Aaron Goodfell at the ball. Well, is the Champions League dream slipping away from Emma Hayes once again. Brilliant by Barcelona, this. Oh, and it's just skipped away from JC who could have wrapped up the victory. They keep going, JC. Back out it goes to Caldente, and it's into the hands of Anne-Katrin Berger, who will get on with it quickly for Chelsea. Sam Kerr. Eriksen forward. Chased down by Pinola Harder. Kept alive, Pinola Harder keeps going. Lauren James and Rita Carnery, two in the penalty area, but Suna Gorcevic is able to dispossess Penilla Harder, and that might just be it. And Barcelona have done it! Barcelona are through to the Champions League final! Joy! And come now! Heartbreak though for Chelsea.